But I guess I start my morning now by working on that charger this morning. Well, I ain't working on the charger, but um, I'm finna get ready to go take these wheels. See, can I find somebody else to powder coat them? Because I took it to one shop and they had my wheel for three fucking months. And the shop is swamp dunking. Telling me that they was gonna be done that week. They still weren't done with them. I kept going by there like they working on them now. They'll be done this week. And so three months and went past. And my my, well, my wheel still didn't get touched at all. So I one day I just went up and I asked him, I said, let me see my wheels. I wanna see if y'all working on them. So you know what I'm saying? He hesitated for a minute and then he took me in the back and the wheels and haven't even been touched. A wheel had dust on there just sitting there. So if I were y'all, man, I won't take nothing to Swamp Duncan. Swamp Duncan did bad business with me. And uh, if y'all keep watching my video, y'all probably see. I think I'm gonna post a video um, uh, when I was at Swamp Duncan with my cell phone. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all, do not bring y'all wheels on here trying to get them powder coated. So they do not do no powder coating. I brought my wheels on here three months ago and I still ain't get them powder coated. Swamp Duncan is a whole bunch of bullshit. They gonna tell you a lie that it's gonna be ready in a week, two, three days. That shit do not be ready. Yo, yeah. uh, oh, oh, you know, when it come down to business though, man, Swamp Duncan, man, they do ter a terrible job. They're right here in Macon, Georgia, man. They will not powder coat your wheel. Like they say they will. I brought my wheels up here. I brought my wheels up here three months ago. Last year, my wheels still didn't get done. So y'all can bring y'all shit up here if y'all want to, but uh, I would never do no business with a swamp dunking again, ever. Ever, ever. They, they lied to me a whole bunch of time. Every week, it gonna be done, it gonna be done, it gonna be done. My wheels ain't never get done. I don't have my camera with me, so I don't record with my phone. So, um, like I said, um, bad being the bad service, man. So, y'all can deal with Swamp Duncan, Swamp Duncan if y'all want to, but I, don't, I, don't, I will never fuck with Swamp Duncan again. I put a bad review on their page and they deleted it. So, they let you know how bad their business is, too. So, they, they're trying to keep all these stars and stuff like that. that that messed up right there man you can't do folk like that but anyway i'm gonna just take them somebody else <clears throat> i'm gonna let y'all ride with me today I probably sound a little bad when I'm catching the cold but let me see can i roll these wheels up out of here so y'all just give me a second gotta get find my gloves all right i got all the wheels inside my little thought car. I need me a truck, man. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking about when I sold all my trucks. But um, I gotta get me another truck because this shit just ain't no work. So, let's take a ride to the shop. I might take these tires off first and then take them to the uh, powder coated shop. See how much they don't charge me to uh, do it. And I need to see some work because the other shot fuck me. So I need to see what kind of work they do before I leave my wheel. I ain't trying to leave no wheel for no whole five, six months just to get them powder coated. It don't make no sense, man. But I, I will talk later on. All right, cause um, we'll talk. Well, I went to the powder coating uh, shop and they told me I had to take the tires off before they can do it. So I'm gonna get that dead next week. But right now, I'm getting the tires, taking out the rim and uh, I'm gonna have to take the tires, take the rim apart myself. And I'm gonna show y'all how to take the rim apart. I ain't never did it before, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna just take them, take them apart and I'm gonna let the uh, rim shop put them back together after I get them powder coated. I'm at the rim shop right now, you can see. Yep. Got the wheels over here. You don't believe me, you know what I mean? 
clean Camaro though. We got the wheels over here. You see, I don't, I don't like all the after spray, whatever you want to call it, bubbles and stuff in the wheel. Somebody got some forges over there. Got them at the, at the top place and make it. Clean Camaro a bit. They were made in making Georgia. You know. But uh, I'm gonna make another video, I'll show y'all all the wheels that's in the inside. I got something to do right now. But I'll come back, let y'all see. So, I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I went and picked the wheels up from the shop tonight. And um, he took the tires off of me, so I came home and started working on the wheels. As you can see, I took the three piece. Uh, wheels apart as you can see they are three piece Lexiana wheels oh man it took me a whole two hours to take these wheels apart I don't really lie it took two wheels I mean two hours to take these wheels apart I'm trying not to mess up my flow because they cold outside in the garage so I brought them in the house as you can see oh man I'm going to show y'all how I took if I can get to the uh, three tonight, I'm gonna work on them. You know, as you can see, I took these three P wheels loose, and it took a long time, and they, it was kind of hard to take loose, but I did it. And I'm gonna take them to the, the shop to get them powder coated tomorrow. You know, I guess they can fit that piece. You see that piece right there? It's a little chip in the, in the chrome. I don't know how they get like that. I got the wheels, it was like that already. I wish the look looked pretty good. So, uh, y'all stay tuned, man. Trying not to wake everybody up in the house working on these wheels, but y'all just keep working with me and keep watching my video. Like I said, keep watching, like, comment, subscribe. You know, everything I know, y'all gonna find out. Like I'm taking these three P wheels loose. Y'all finna find out how to take them loose. Finna get a roll the other one in here. And we finna work on that like right now. Alright, let's check this out. So what you're gonna do is you gotta take all these bolts out. Around the side, every lab one on. You know, I think I'm what size I'm gonna use them. I think I'm using them. Oh, uh, 13, as you can see, wait a minute, a 13 millimeter socket. I'm using a 13 millimeter socket. You uh, know, you gotta have a a little thing for the front, which I ain't got, cause the parts still closed. So I've been using the grip flies uh, to hold that. You, as you can see, uh, I can't, I don't know the name of it, but if I went to the parts store, I, I would get the right thing if you plan on taking it off but uh, I was trying to hurry up and take them off so I can get them powder coated in the morning you know uh, like I said the parts still closed because it's about let me see what time it is as you see it about 10 o'clock so the parts still closed so I gotta do the best do it the best way I can you uh, know that's it I'm gonna show you when I take all the bolts out what all you gotta do next Take these three P wheels off. All right, y'all keep watching. Yeah, hit these screws and take them out. Actually, I got them. I took them loose by hand before I started using the video. Drill ain't strong enough to just take them off. Okay, when you get all the bolts and screws and everything out from around the side, which took me a whole 30 minutes, I'm gonna let y'all know. 
If y'all ain't got patience to do this, don't do it. It will drive you crazy and it take forever. So if you don't, uh, ain't got patience, man, I advise you don't do this shit. For real. See all these boats right here? All that stuff came out of these wheels. So now, all thing I got to do now, let's see can I do that with the camera. You see that split? See that split wet? You know what that mean? You got to split like that wet. You know what you got to do to it. So let's see can I find my rusty screwdriver. What you got to do, you got to go inside that hole and bust that thing wide open. Right down the center where it's sealed at. Just turn like it. Rihanna or Beyonce or some type of shit when you get to bust it open. I can't do it while I'm uh, holding the camera, but you'll see what, I, what I'm saying when I get through busting it open. I'll be back. What can I do it by holding the camera? Set the camera in my lap. Oh man, see how it bust open. It bust straight out in the middle. Real probably fall on me, but you get what I'm talking about. See how it bust open. All right, let me get pick one of these wheels up on my leg, and I will get back with you in about two seconds. All right, as you see, I just did my second one. I ain't gonna show you video every last one of them I take a look, but I'm just letting y'all see, see what's going on, what I'm doing. See, that are two outside pieces. That's the front, uh, that's the front of the wheel. This the lip, that's the second lip upside down. As you see, I let you know I do work. It would take me so long because I be wanting to do my own stuff. Just so I can show y'all, you know what I mean? I could just pay somebody to do all this stuff, but I like to make my own video showing what kind of work I can do. I just want to see if I can do it or not. But um, y'all stay tuned. The next stop will be uh, the pile and coal in place tomorrow if I can go ahead and get through with the other two. It's going to be raining tomorrow, but I'm still going to make a move tomorrow in the rain. So let me keep moving so I can drop that video tomorrow of the uh, pot and coating uh, company. Uh, they say I can bring my camera so I'll record while I'm in there too. So y'all just stay tuned. All right, I got all four of them took apart. As you see, one, two, three, four. It's the back part of the lip. And that is the outside of the lip. I finally got it done. It's the second day. I think I was working on the thing to about almost two o'clock in the morning, and uh, some of the bolts were screwed out. Somebody tried to take them apart, a week before I did, and uh, I had a hard time taking anything apart. I how flow, how dirty I got my flow, my flow dirty. I had to clean all that stuff up. All this stuff came came from the wheels. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all got messed up boats, screwed up boats, man, shout out to them, man. These things really do work. <clears throat> For real, though, they really work. I think it's about four or five of them in a the pack. Uh, they look just like that in, in the inside. You got, a little, got a little swirls in the inside. Man, when I say these things work, I mean, they work. The best thing that happened to me today, like, I had a hard time trying to get these bolts out. They were scripted out together. As you see, they were scripted real bad. And I ain't do it. They was already scripted out before I even tried to put my own socket on it. And that's why I didn't get finished last night, but I would have been finished last night, but, but uh, I just got finished today. So the next step is to uh, take them to the uh, powder coating shop today. If I have time, if I do it today, I'm gonna do it one day this week. Uh, if I get off from uh, my job on time, you know, 
But by the time I get off, it'll be dark. But I'm gonna try to get out early so I can um, so I can uh, get these wheels over there. So that's it. So the next stop will be the shop, and I will be making a video at the shop. So y'all just keep watching my video. I'm gonna keep telling y'all to keep comment, subscribe, uh, hit that like. All we, all we, uh, dang, I stuck my own. All we, uh, comment back on y'all comments, and I like, it. I see everything, and I always comment back on it. And I, I'm trying to tell y'all everything that I know. You know what I mean? But, uh, y'all keep watching. Out of my